My name is Nikki Emerson and I'm a T53 wheelchair track athlete. I also work in strategy for a company in London and I'm studying for a master's. T53 is my Paralympic classification, so the T just stands for track, the 5 means that I'm in a wheelchair and the 3 refers to how disabled I am. So 1 is the most disabled and 4 is the least disabled in wheelchair track. I broke my back in a car accident in 2008 and I watched the Beijing Paralympics and just thought that the girls racing there looked like amazing athletes and also incredible people. They didn't look just like your average disabled person or what my preconception of a disabled person was. So that inspired me to get into sport and to try and reach the, the highest level that I could. Um, the highlight I would say of my sporting career um, would be coming forth in the London Marathon but I've also won quite a few medals for Great Britain at World Championships and I've won three international marathons um, and broken some junior world records on the way. For me, sport isn't just about fitness or exercise. I've made a lot of friends through sport and I've learnt a lot of things through it. So leadership and teamwork and communication are things that you need everywhere. But for me, I've learnt how to apply those through what I've done in sport. And it's also learning how to lose. That's one of the most important things that I've learnt from sport. Winning is easy, but losing is really, really hard. And once you've learnt how to lose, then the winning will come even easier. When I was at school, I always just wanted to be the same as everyone else. I wanted to fit in. And then after I broke my back and I realised I couldn't be the same as everyone else, I started to think more about what being different meant. And for me, it was actually really inspirational hearing from different entrepreneurs and celebrities. And you never hear anyone who's done really, really well in life say, well, I was part of the main group at school. I was really popular. I did exactly the same as my friends. And look at me now, I'm really successful. You always hear, well, I was different. I was left out. I came up with this idea that no one else thought of, and I did it. And it's being different in that way that makes people succeed. No one wants to be given something that they've already seen before. It's when you come up with something new and you approach things from a new angle that you actually do well in life. For me, I would say that being in a wheelchair I don't think is what I perceive as making me different. So other people might look at me and go, oh, she's in a wheelchair. But within a few minutes of talking to me, the thing that they're noting is the fact that I train really hard as an athlete and I've been successful in um, a corporate career. So to me, it's that side of being different that I try to highlight rather than just the fact that I'm in a wheelchair. So that might be other people's perception of my difference, but it's such a minor part of my life that I don't let it affect me. As someone who is disabled, I would say that my biggest problem with the way society treats people who are different is how much they highlight it. So whatever I do, there always seems to be something attached to it that shows that I am disabled. So for me, I can get on an escalator and I can take the tube normally, but someone will stop me doing that because some health and safety law says that disabled people can't do that. So I think society actually reinforces people's differences by putting people into groups and saying, you're disabled, you can do this. You're not disabled, therefore you can't. And I think that by doing that, all you're doing is just increasing prejudice and segregation.